Okay, this video is going to be on how to properly make tuning templates for those of you who tune a lot of the same vehicle. Uh, because it, in reality, <clears throat> time is money. And when you're tuning vehicles constantly, uh, the last thing you need is to keep having to manually do every single tune. Now, this can be a very simple process, okay? So, first, now for those of you who already have a, a tune file already created, you can do a compare, which we have a video that show you how to do compares, okay? So, step one is you need a complete tune file created, ready to go, okay? So, this is the stock file, and in my compare, I have the tune file, okay? Now, for this exercise, we're going to take something that's already tuned um, in order to make the video easier. So, we're going to go to Edit. No, I'm sorry. Tools, Template Editor. Actually, hold on. I'm sorry. Wrong step. Compare, View Comparison Log. Compare, View Comparison Log. Copy over all the differences so that all the changes are in your tune. Now, um, check engine lights don't cross over, so you're going to want to go and remove whatever check engine lights you removed. Um, this specific vehicle looks like the person had knock sensor issues. Um, they got rid of some EVAP. No, that was it. Okay, so now do not make any sa any any saves. Change the data you want. Don't save it. <laughs> Go to template editor, hit here, which is for a new template, and then you have import parameters from template, import unsaved parameters, and import parameter differences. Okay. We're gonna import unsaved parameters. Bam. This is all the changes for a specific tune. So this exact vehicle is a 60 2500. Uh, with just a base tune on it, um, you know, truck probably makes somewhere between 25 to 35 horsepower over stock, um, better drivability, blah, 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 simple tune, okay, now here you go save, name it whatever you want, you save it, now you have a template for that specific vehicle, okay, so we're not going to create this template because I already have them, so let's go to the template applicator, Okay, so once you go to the template applicator, we can open up a tune template for a vehicle. So let's go back here and silver auto templates. I'm just going to pick a random one, okay? So if you're going to notice here, I have a, a ton of templates here, okay? So let's pick one. Let's say 99 to 06 spark timing for trucks. Open. Okay, bam, bam. These are your tables. You don't have to copy and paste them. You don't have to do anything. You go to apply changes, hit this button, success, two, failed, zero. Okay, go back, engine, spark, timing, and you'll see that the timing tables have completely changed for this specific vehicle. Um, now, with that being said, and the template applicator can help you very much. Now, one of the things is, is once you've applied the templates uh, and you save it as a new file, um, you need to make sure before you save it, when all these boxes are lit up, to go through and check the file. So one of the things on vehicles that people want to ghost cam or people want to put a big cam in, whatever, one of the things you have to change is you have to go and you've changed the misfire settings. Okay, sometimes the template applicator does not add these in correctly. And if I don't pay attention to it, the customer will leave, and down the road, he's got a blinking check engine light, thinks his motor's going to blow up, when in reality, it's just that the diagnostics haven't been changed for the uh, misfire protocol. Um, and for those of you who aren't aware, misfires and... Cam lope are essentially the same thing. What you're hearing uh, with a true cam lope is a, a momentary time of the valves being open at the same time um, and the engine firing, essentially creating misfire. 
So these tables have to be changed with a bigger cam, um, with ghost cam, things like that. Um, let me see here what we got for time. Okay. Um, the template applicator can be really nice for a lot of things. So we can open up the applicator again. And, you know, we have, look, we'll, I have transmission, year range, gear ratio, tire size. Hit open again. <laughs> Apply changes. Look at that. Success 17 and 2. Failed 0. Now you can go over and all the transmission changes will be done. Okay. Now, again, you have to make sure that you go through and, and check everything that you normally would check make sure that things are changed um, because sometimes the tables do not properly match up due to operating system issues and you may have to manually enter the data also make sure you check speedometer go check your fans um, check fuel system things like that any diagnostics engine transmission stuff one of the big things is make sure that nothing gets changed in this general area because you don't want to change this on any vehicle because this can really screw your stuff up okay now like these system options this is a table full of zeros and ones and to be honest a lot of this stuff we're not going to have any idea exactly what they are for um, so I highly recommend <sighs> For whatever reason, you do not change this stuff. Okay, now the template applicators only work with 4.7 and newer, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, the new beta, whatever. Um, it is a great option um, for shops in order to speed up the process of the creating the base tune. Now, with that being said, just because you upload a tune onto something and make changes doesn't mean it's perfect. You still have to go through and make changes to timing tables and things like that in order to essentially uh, make sure it's perfect based on mods and, and whatever else that you may run into. Um, but with that being said, this is something that everyone should have set up um, if they're tuning multiples of one car. Uh, that way they can paste the based information in first and then make changes based on what modifications are done to the vehicle. Uh, if anyone has any questions, recommendations, things that we should change or make videos about, please uh, feel free to message me because if it's something that I have done or have no problem doing, I will create a video for it to help everyone else out. Um, so just make sure that you guys subscribe, like, whatever, um, in order to uh, keep the channel going. Uh, I haven't posted a lot of videos in a while and I'm sorry for that. Uh, and I need to go back to posting a couple videos a week. Um, so hopefully the a large amount of videos doesn't drown out um, people's ability to find information or find things um, on my channel.